Hey Cancer Placements, welcome back to my channel. Because the views on April 2020 weren't up there, I'm not gonna give you guys May 2020's monthly spread, but I am gonna come and give you guys a love reading, okay? This is gonna be love lessons. So whether you're single, taken, you know, dealing with someone, whatever the case may be, I'm gonna give you guys the current lessons that you guys may be facing within your relationship. Okay, so don't forget to like, share, and subscribe on my video and yeah, let's get started. The current lessons for cancer placements. What are cancer placements currently going through? And what lessons do they need to learn and love right now? What lessons do cancer placements have to learn right now? What lessons do cancer placements have to learn right now? Okay, Spirit, what are Cancer's current love situation? Cancer placement's current love situation. Mm. Cancer placement's love situation. If this is the Seven of Wands, I'm gonna laugh because this came out while I was meditating. Ten of Wands. All right, so for some of you guys, you may be in a committed relationship, but for some reason, you're the one doing all the work. Um, but because the Ten of Wands is somebody doing everything by themselves, I'm also going to assume that most of you may be single. If you are in a committed relationship, you may feel like maybe financially you're the only one doing everything. But for the most part, I think that you guys are single and doing your thing. Maybe you guys have a lot on your plate and you can't really focus on relationships. Okay, and if you're in a committed relationship and you're dealing with someone, maybe you're the only one putting in all the effort and it's frustrating because your plate is full. You have all the responsibilities of the relationship. You're doing everything. You're putting all your effort in and you're not getting any help or anything in return. But yeah, that can be some heavy energy, okay? What is an obstacle for cancers in their love life? What is an obstacle here? Okay, lots of tens here. I think an obstacle for you guys is you guys want it all. And because you guys are willing and dedicated and you want the Ten of Pentacles, you want the abundance. It's kind of hard to get all of that when you're the only one doing everything. Some of you guys may be dealing with a fire sign. But I think... The obstacle here is I'm just getting the vibe like you guys want you guys want so much and either the person isn't giving it they're not giving the same energy as you are. As you can tell in the picture, you know, there's the castle here, there's all the pentacles. This woman has everything that she wants, okay? This is what you want in a love reading. When you have somebody, you want the Ten of Pentacles with this person. You wanna build something stable and committed, right? You want marriage. You want faithfulness, etc. But you can't have all of that when you're the only one doing the work or if you're single and doing everything. Um, so yeah, I think the obstacle for you guys is reaching this Ten of Pentacles state. You guys have to, I don't even know because I haven't gotten to the, the lesson yet, but I think for you guys, you have to realize when you're doing too much for people and you have to cut the energy out. Cancers, you guys are very giving and loving and soft. So I think when you guys really love somebody, you guys fall head over heels and you're just offering everything to this person. And I don't know if you guys realize when you're doing too much for this person or for whoever you're dealing with. Um, and that's why it's gonna be hard for you guys if you're loving unconditionally and blindly and your goals and the future point that you wanna to get to, you're not gonna get it because the other person, they don't want the same things that you want. They don't have the same goals and ambitions as you guys. So just be mindful of that. I think whoever you guys are dealing with, the obstacle is gonna be reaching your goals when it comes to relationships because I don't think the person that you're dealing with is as serious and committed as you are, Cancer. Okay, what is Cancer's first lesson that they need to overcome? What is Cancer's first lesson that they need to learn to overcome this obstacle? Okay. 
Five of Wands and the Four of Swords. So with the Four of Swords here, I'm taking this as healing. If you guys are in a relationship right now and it's what I was just explaining, there's not a lot of reciprocity, there's not equal give and take here, you're the one doing all the work, you need to remove yourself from the situation and heal. You need to remove yourself, okay? Now, with the Five of Wands here, instead of taking what this person is giving to you, I think Cancers, you need to start sticking up for yourselves and fighting for it is that you want. Now, if you're in a relationship with someone and they're not doing anything, they're not giving anything to you or for you or within the relationship, I think you guys have to fight more for what it is that you want in relationships. That's the first lesson. You guys might have to remain single and remain by yourselves and take yourself out of the mix and figure out what it is that you guys truly want when it comes to commitment and a partner. And until then, you have to fight for it is that you want. You can't be settling for people who are not willing to give you what you're giving to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't be in relationships where it's unfair and you're doing so much and they're doing little. You really can't, okay, Cancer? So I think the first lesson that you have to learn is standing up for yourself, fighting for what it is that you truly want, healing, and being by yourself until you are able to find who it is that can give you what you're willing to give them. I don't know if you guys are afraid to be alone, but that's part of the lesson here. You guys have to be okay with being alone. Don't settle for connections just because you wanna be with someone. All right. What is the second lesson that cancers have to overcome? What is the second lesson that cancers have to learn? Second lesson that cancers have to learn to overcome this obstacle. What is the second lesson here that cancers have to learn in love? Second lesson that cancers have to learn in love. Hmm. So the second lesson here is the Page of Cups and the Devil. So I think you guys are in a karmic cycle right now when it comes to love. There's a deep connection here and there's a deep karmic lesson that you guys are needing to learn in order for you guys to overcome this. If you're not the type to apologize to people, maybe that's what this Page of Cups is talking about. Maybe you have to be the one to apologize first, so to speak. Or the lesson could be that you guys, you have to stop taking back karmic relationships just because they come back and they tell you what you wanna hear. Okay, Cancer? I think the lesson also may have to do with some kind of materialism. Maybe you guys are so focused on getting this Ten of Pentacles that you're not really looking for somebody that's that has a deeper connection, you know what I'm saying? Like you guys are so focused on being able to provide for somebody physically and you're not really there to provide them spiritual and emotional support. I don't know where this is coming from, Cancer, okay? But I think that with the devil here, this is all about material stuff. So if you guys think that providing for somebody materialistically is gonna be enough and offering them the house, the home, the money, everything like that, it's not gonna be enough. You guys have to offer them emotional support, spiritual support. And it could be that there is a karmic lesson here that you guys have to learn. There's something very deep when it comes to love that you guys have to learn. It could be protecting yourself from people that wanna use you for the wrong things. Maybe some of you guys are dealing with Capricorn placements, but I feel like for some of you guys, you are just so used to having to be the provider and it's funny because Capricorns are your opposite sign. You guys are so used to being the provider that you think that that is what it's gonna take, but you're not really up to par yet. Or not even up to par, but for some reason, that's the issue here. 
you want to be able to support somebody, but for some reason it's not happening. But it's because there's an imbalance. You know, relationships take two. It doesn't take one. And you guys really have to fight for people. You guys have to fight for people that are going to be willing to give you what you're giving them. Stop, stop going after people who are using you for your money and luxury and sex, etc. But there's a deep karmic lesson here that you need to address to overcome this Ten of Pentacles. Relationships do not revolve around money and the material things. So when you are meeting people that want you for your money, they want you because you have a big house, they want you because you can give them this, that, and the third, they want you because you're very abundant, you're going to continue meeting this energy and you're going to continue repeating the same cycle because the people that you choose, they're the same people in different bodies. I don't know if you guys are just refusing not to see it, but that's just how I think it is. I think you guys are choosing what you want to see and what you don't want to see. So when you meet somebody and they, they show you right off the bat that they're just users, I think you guys are trying to see the good in these people. And because you try to see the good in people that are very toxic, you end up getting right back to here, offering somebody the world when they're not doing shit for you. Damn, Cancer. But yeah, there is a very karmic lesson here. There is a deep karmic lesson. This devil energy is heavy. So, Cancers, for the most part, I think you guys are single. For some of you guys, you're in a connection where it's unfair. I think you guys want marriage. You want commitment. You want stability, but the other person doesn't. So... The lessons that you have to learn is being okay with being alone, healing yourself before getting into a connection, and actually opening your eyes when it comes to toxic people that want to use you. Stop getting into connections with the same goddamn people. Y'all have to start fighting for yourselves, fighting for what you really want, even if it means competing against other people. Stop being nice to these toxic people that want to come in and use you. Because, yeah, the Ten of Pentacles is going to be an obstacle for you. You're not going to be able to get to this level. Okay, Spirit, what is Cancer's love energy? What is their love lessons here? What do they need to know regarding their love life? Cancer placements. Chemistry, there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So for some of you guys, yes, you're committed with someone or you know somebody and there is a very deep connection here. It could be this devil energy. Lots of chemistry between you guys. Make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. Cancer placements. When it comes to love... Cancer placements when it comes to love. What else does Cancer need to know when it comes to their love lessons? Cancer. One more card, please. What do they need to know when it comes to love? Those cards fell. Ah! So we have pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. That may also be what the devil energy here is. So Cancer, when it comes to meeting new people... If people are showing you red flags and they're showing you this toxic side of them or this narcissistic side of them or the side where they're users, abusers, etc., you need to pay attention to them. Your intuition may also be talking to you when it comes to your love life. And if you're just dismissing your intuition, you're going to end up just being in the same karmic cycle. You need to break free. New love, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings. So for some of you guys, if you just met somebody and it feels like you're the only one doing everything within the relationship, you may need to address this right now, okay? So for some of you, if you're single, you're going to meet somebody new after these lessons are learned or even before. For others of you, it could be that you're going to get into a relationship soon, 
and you're going to be tested and you're going to see the red flags coming up. And if you're watching this video and you just met somebody and, you know, there's some things that are kind of iffy about them, this is a sign for you, okay? And honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So you guys may be in a relationship with someone, just met somebody, everything's going great. And then boom, here come the red flags. This person starts acting a certain way. They only message you when they need something. They only ask you for money, etc. Pay attention to the red flags. Enjoy the time and enjoy the good times that they bring you. But you know, sometimes some people are only here for a season and some people are here for eternity. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what that quote is, but I feel like that applies here for some of you guys. When it comes to new love, you guys have to be aware of these people's intentions and what they really want from you. Cancer, when it comes to love, you need to start fighting for yourself. Don't allow people to just walk all over you and use you. Take the time to heal. Be okay with being single. Even if you have crazy chemistry with someone and they're treating you really bad, instead of continuing to deal with them because you feel like they're your soulmate or whatever the case may be, treat yourself better. Walk away from situations that make you do all the work, okay? When you're the one doing all the effort and you're the one making the effort and the other person isn't, cut it. But yeah, enjoy the good times that you have with this person. Enjoy the honeymoon phase because you might be seeing another side of them and you might be, the universe might be coming to you with some information and some red flags that you need to pay attention to. All right, Cancer, so I wanna thank you guys for coming and viewing your reading. I hope that you liked this. This was the first time doing the spread, so hopefully this made sense on some level and I hope that this helps somebody and yeah, thank you guys for coming and watching. See you in the next video.